Okay, in this uh, video, we're going to practice nature of roots. So first, let's look at the question number two. Find the range of value of p for which the equation blah 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 has real two real distinct roots. So that means there's two solution to this equation. So first, before we start, we must arrange the equation so that we can see our a, b, and c. Meaning, we must arrange it to a x squared plus b x plus c equals zero. So let's arrange it. Four x squared plus twelve x plus sixteen equals to 4px plus 7p arrange it 4px 4x squared plus 12x minus 4px plus 15 minus 7p so in this case my a is 4 my b is 12 minus 4p and my c is 15 minus 7p so the question tells us that we have two real distinct root we have two real distinct root that means the discriminant must be positive. Why? Because, look, uh, okay, let's look. Let's look for the reasoning here first for a moment. So, x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. If this part inside is negative, you get no answer. Okay? If it's equal to 0, you get equal, two equal answers. So if it's greater than 0, you get two different answers. So we are told that we have two different answers. So therefore, discriminant must be greater than 0. So b greater than 0. So b squared, b squared which is 12 minus 4p bracket square minus 4a c will be greater than 0. So let's continue. 144 minus 8 times uh, 96p plus 16p square minus uh okay 16 times 15 is uh 240 240 and uh 16 times 7 16 times 7 is 112 so it's plus 112p greater than 0 so let's arrange it 16p square mm, 112 minus 96 will give me 16 so plus 16 p and 144 minus 240 will give me 96 so negative 96 greater than 0 and divide throughout by 16 uh, that will give me p square plus p minus 6 greater than 0 and we're going to factorize it x the p okay so 3 and 2 so it will be negative here, positive here, greater than 0 and let's sketch the graph so negative 3 and 2 we want it to be greater than 0 so therefore the answer is p less than negative 3 or p greater than 2 so let's pause for a minute now let us continue and let's look at question number 4 find the set of value of m for which blah 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 does not intersect the curve blah 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 okay so they do not intersect that means the simultaneous equation will have no solution so we're going to call equation 1 and equation 2 and we're going to sub it in okay m sub 1 into 2 mx 1 into 2 so mx minus 1 equals to x squared minus 2x plus 3 so let's arrange the equation x squared minus 2x minus mx plus 4 equals 0 so my a is 1 my b is negative 2 minus m and my c is 4 so we know that there's no solution that means d less than 0 okay so d less than 0 and uh, that will give me d square which is minus 2 minus m bracket square minus 4 a c less than 0 so that will give me 4 plus 4 m plus m square minus 16 less than 0 m square plus 4 m minus 12 less than 0 and we're going to factorize it 6 and 2 this one should be positive here so therefore I'll get negative 6 and 2 and we want it to be less than 0 so here is the solution so it's one region so it's one answer so negative 6 2 so if they say if state also the value of m for which the line is a tangent tangent meaning that the line cuts the curve at one point so the simultaneous equation if they cut at one point you have one solution that means in that case d will be equal to zero and when you work out the same process you end up with 
m plus 6 m minus 2 equals 0 so m equals to 2 or negative 6 okay so that's our second example let's look at our third one but let's pause okay in question number eight they asked to show that the rules of blah 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 are real and distinct so this time they did not tell us that uh, whether it's real and distinct or it's imaginary or whatever they are asked to prove it so do not assume that it's greater than zero so we got to start with d equals to b square minus 4ac so b square which is 3b by that square minus 4 and sorry we got to uh, expand out the equation first so let's uh, scratch that expand out the equation first to arrange it p square x square minus 2px plus 1 plus 3px minus 5 equals 0 so that will give me p square x square plus px plus uh, minus 4 equals 0 so let's continue b equals to b square minus 4ac so equals to b square minus 4ac and that will give me 17p square so since 17p square is positive it's never negative it can be zero but it's never negative therefore d greater or equal to zero therefore the equation has real roots shown okay so if you ask to show you start by doing d equals to b square minus 4ac and work it out and prove that it's always positive or always negative so let's pause okay let's continue let's look at question 7b find the range of x for which blah 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 is always positive so let's uh, look at equation that means this is greater than zero so this greater than zero means that the curve the curve is above the axis curve is above axis that means do they cut no they do not cut so therefore d less than zero so we got to use d which is b square minus b plus 2m minus 4 a b square okay let's uh, b square negative 2 square minus 4 a c is less than 0 and you work it out okay so that's the end of this example